welcome to a special presentation of the NBA on Christmas Day here on 2K Sports. We want to wish each and every one of you a Merry Christmas. This is Kevin Harlan with Greg Anthony and Clark Kellogg and our sideline reporter David Aldridge. The Spurs would love to finish off this road trip on a good note. These guys are hot, no doubt about it, continuing to put up win after win. And you look around the league, and it's hard to see a team that could challenge this group right now. If they keep playing like this, I'm not convinced anyone is going to break this streak. And, you know, that's their attitude, too. I mean, they don't think there's a team in the league that can take them down, and that's a special feeling to have, that kind of confidence. Well, they're still young, but the Magic, Greg, are becoming one of those league pass teams. Like, like people want to watch them. Yeah, I mean, they've got some players. Leaving aside any rooting interest on my part, they've got some young fellas that are definitely intriguing to watch. And it's Orlando's ball. Defeated by the Pacers in their last game, they'll try to put that one behind them. Yeah, I mean, on the road, their defense was just overrun. Couldn't match the intensity of the opponent, and it cost them. And you know what, guys? It just seemed like they never really had the kind of energy necessary. They just weren't comfortable on the defensive end. The Spurs shooting their first free throw this game. And that one misses. When you think about the Spurs, Greg, it's hard to believe how long Greg Popovich has been at the helm, isn't it? I mean, it's hard to imagine another team will have the stability at head coach that the Spurs have had. Not too many coaches last decades anymore. And the Spurs with possession. Jalen Suggs unable to get his last shot to go. Six to shoot. Here's Sohan. No good from outside. Just over a minute and a half played here in this one. Now, Suggs. He's playing a pretty big role for him at the offensive end, averaging about 12 and a half points a game. You know, on the drive, Suggs can be a bit unpredictable, which keeps him, I think, a step ahead of the defense. You don't want him knowing exactly what you're going to do. Rembenyama, left side. And the shot is good. That's simply an outstanding play, working the size mismatch right at the rim. Pass to Carter. Wagner outside. All sorts of time. Here's Black. And stolen by Wembenyama. And now here's Johnson, the fast break chance. Oh, how about the vision by Wembenyama there? Always looking to get teammates involved. Magic moving the ball around. At the elbow, Suggs. And Suggs throws it down. No oh, big finish. Emphatic. He hangs on the rim just for good measure. Wow. Well, I guess there's nothing wrong with a little bit of showboating here and there. Now, here's Vassell. Nine points last game. And it's sent back by Carter. Goes up the baseline. Good for the basket. Starting off one for one with that shot. Now, always fun to be here for a Christmas broadcast. There is a certain magic in the great to these games. Kevin, it's always special to play on a holiday. It, it just changes the energy entirely. The crowd, the mood of your fellow players, it's just all better. And Orlando has possession. After the basket by San Antonio. And that one's good, Suggs. Shooting in good rhythm there, Suggs. Off the catch and shoot, nicely done. Johnson outside. To the paint. That shot off the mark. Great defense that time from Bancaro. Back to Wagner. Pass to Bancaro. Now, here's Wagner, covered by Vassell. And what? That one goes careening off the glass. And the wingspan of Wimbenyama, massive. He, he's fantastic at using it to erase shots. Spurs trail by three. 
Here's Johnson. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. Boy, he's really feeling it right now, shooting a high percentage to start this game. Here's Sugg. And Sugg throws it down. Absolutely flying. Look at Suggs using those hops to jam it home. Here's Branham. Comes up empty down low. Carter outside. Pass to Van Carroll. Tries the spin move. Can't convert off the spin. Wide, wide open and still surprisingly he wasn't able to cash in. Watch out now, when this guy gets into a rhythm, it is something to behold. No good on the last second attempt there. Keelan Suggs has been leading the charge for the Orlando Magic. He comes away with 11 points in the quarter and is showing no signs of fatigue. We'll take a quick break and then back to the action here. to NBA action, a great tradition, Christmas Day basketball here on 2K Sports. And let's take a moment, guys, to get your take on the scoring so far for the Magic. The defense has been giving them plenty of mid-range jumpers, and they've been making them pay for that mistake. And I also like how they've trusted one another with the Rock, creating shots by keeping the ball moving. Now here's Anthony. Coming in off a 12-point game his last outing. Count that bucket. Boy, nice work by Harris that time. He's trying to find the best shot for his team, not necessarily for himself there. And Clark, much like his pops, Cole Anthony has proven to be a skilled ball handler. <laughs> yeah, I would agree with that. Perhaps it runs in the DNA, huh? He definitely has some strong instincts out there, and I know he got a little bit of that from you, Greg. And he does his part to help others find shots when he's not scoring himself. Pass to Collins. The Spurs need to get a shot off here. Osmond. A rugged, determined defender. Seeing Harris's hustle and using his quickness on this end, man, I like that. And you could tell he thought that triple was going to fall. played through the first uh, minute here in the second. Shots good by Wesley. Yeah, I need to see some more assertiveness out of these defenders. Fultz with the ball. Scoreless thus far. Bancaro, oh, that's good. Bancaro's got the lead back up to three now for the Magic. Has taken little time for Ban Carroll to show he can deal with tough NBA defense. It's a battle, and he's not afraid of it at all. And now the first time out called here for the Spurs. Spurs trail by three. About a minute and a half into the second quarter now. Here's Collins. And finish off by Collins. And those plays can make a difference in a game like this. <laughs> well, you know it's going to fire up, Greg, everybody on that bench. Making a statement for sure. I mean, we'll see if they can maintain that aggressive approach, guys. Time now to turn to our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David. Thank you, Kevin. Now, of course, these young Spurs are coached by one of the all-time great coaches in Greg Popovich. Kelton Johnson says of Pop, he's around here smiling and excited each and every day. To have him along with us is big. And Popovich gives them confidence. Devin Vassell said, as long as we play together and we play the right way, we'll have a chance to win every game. Kevin? And having you know who helps too, right? Rembenyama makes things happen. David, thanks. He 
takes it in. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. And once the team to beat in the West, Greg San Antonio is trying to get back to that level. Well, they have a great organization, top to bottom. They're smart and battle-tested. I believe these guys will find a way. No good on the free throw. And Greg, when they talk about youth development, the days are gone when coaches divided guards and bigs when it comes to skill work. When, when did that change? It, it's kind of a recent development, maybe the last 10 or 15 years. But it's amazing how the game has evolved. Good. Branham's got eight points. Attacking in transition, the most consistent way to generate easy looks. Yep, exactly. And if there's any opportunity for early offense, you've got to push it and push it every time. Now, here's Vassell. Paolo Bancaro unable to get his last shot to go in. Branham can't get it to go. You know, he's not a knockdown shooter from there, but when you're that uncovered, you almost are forced to take it. And he comes up with the deuce. Yeah, and there it is again. On a lot of their possessions this first half, they've established great inside position. Time called here. The Spurs decide to talk it over. One fifty-one left to play here in the half. Here's Sohan. Basket counts. Here's Black. His last outing, he had eight points. Pass to Carter. And then Carter with the jam. Great to see a young guy play that kind of cerebral game. Wagner sees a shooter and gets him set up nicely. So, Clark, looking back at the 2021 draft, Franz Wagner, the eighth overall pick. And, you know, he very well might turn out to be the best of the bunch, Kevin. He's 6'9", really can shoot it. But I think his activity and playmaking, perhaps his best attributes, creates for others as a 6'9 wing guy, and that's valuable for any team. Boy, good vision that time from Suggs on this play, finding the most ready shooter and fed him nicely. Collins and finish off by Collins fundamentals guys using the one hand slam well he makes the basics look pretty exceptional I'd suggest that he stay with those basics because we've got a tight one here tonight Spurs trail by three we've got 28 seconds left to play in the first half Gets it to ball from the right block. Collins has got six. Boy, really nice job to take what the defense was giving him there. Here's Black. He's averaging a bit over five points a game. He doesn't hit that one. That doesn't go in. Had a chance, though, to take the lead. Here's Suggs. And the last second attempt doesn't fall. And a close game so far through the first two quarters as we reach halftime. It's the Magic leading by just one. Time now for the halftime break with the third quarter soon to follow right here on 2K Sports. Second half of basketball upon us. We may be in for an exciting finish based on how close of a game it's been so far.
so it's Orlando now. They lead by one. They've got the Wizards ahead of them. Their next game in Washington. That'll be just one game played away from home for them. Bancaro, that's good. Inside, Bancaro has everything he needs to make it happen. He's got size, strength, agility, and a nice touch, too. Here's Wimbenyama. Whistle blows. Bucket is good, and he'll have a chance at the line to make it a three-point play. Man, you look at the hype surrounding Wembenyama. Greg, it's unreal. One of the best prospect profiles, really, since LeBron. Almost unfair to try and live up to the expectations, but he's got the tools to be one of the best to ever play. And Caro outside. Lets it fly. Misses off the right iron. And so Wembenyama will bring it up for San Antonio. Hey, yo, right here. And Wembenyama throws it down. So fluid off the bounce. Wembenyama. Pass to Black. And if you're just joining us, we play it over a minute here in the third. Yep, that one goes in there. It's a great move, and he catches the defense completely off guard. Yeah, if that's a harbinger of things to come, he's looking at having a very big second half. And stolen by Wagner. To the left wing. Just a little over 90 seconds gone in the third quarter. And Suggs throws it down. Suggs handling this business so far in this one. Really putting the work in on the offensive end. And now we've got some time to check in from the sideline. You got for us, D.A.? Thank you very much, Kevin. His rookie year, Spurs coaches suggested that Jeremy Sohan shoot his free throws one-handed. He said, I thought they were joking. But the new form got his elbow under the ball and his percentages rose. Coach Popovich said a lot of guys wouldn't even want to try it, but he doesn't worry about what people think. He just wants to get better. Kevin? I can see it. All right, David, thanks. Here's Sohan following the three-pointer by Orlando. A three from Wembenyama. Carter pulls it in. Orlando leading by five. Mark, in recent years, Orlando has been one of the league's bigger teams. Well, you can see clearly, Kevin, that the front office prioritizes length. Um, you don't ever have to really worry about them playing small ball. Greg, here he is, the first overall pick of the 2022 draft, Paulo Bancaro. And the top pick because he's a 6'10 playmaker. Bancaro has a tremendous feel for the game, great vision, passing it and endless potential offensively. Two points, that one goes. Important points there. Got him on a nice play, getting the ball inside and right to the bucket. Back to Black. The turnaround jumper. That one goes in. Black's got the lead up to six now for the match. You know, they'll take the points, but I'm sure Coach would prefer a higher percentage look next time. A nice shot by Sohan. And they're forcing the ball inside, and it's working like a charm. Here's Black. He's got nine. Now, here's Suggs. And Suggs throws it down. Ooh. Oh, inflicting some punishment with the two-hand flush. Ah, they're going for the throat. Now's the time to do it. Keep attacking that rim. San Antonio calls timeout. Both teams making some changes here. There's 126 left in the third. Here's Sohan. Looking at his point production, he averages almost 11 points a game. And now Orlando on the break. And the rejection by Rembenyama. 
109 left in the third quarter. And a fast break now for the Spurs. Right here, right here. Here's Collins. And he floats in for the easy two. Credit the assist on that one. And that lead pass allowed him to get straight to the rim, unabated in stride. Here's Wagner. He drains the turnaround jump shot. Wagner's got his second bucket. And, and they've worked the ball around so well tonight for those quality looks from mid-range. Well, it's interesting. The defense continues to back off, expecting them to attack the rack. But they just continue to pull up and knock down those mid-range jump. Here's Branham. He's got eight. Ren Benyama. Oh, and it looks like that's going to be a goaltending call. Yep, that's it. So they'll get the basket. Yeah, he was just a skosh late on the contest. That's going to be a goaltend for sure. Puts it up from 17. Spins. And he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. And you know, Isaac doesn't mess around close to the rim. When he's got good position, he's forcing the defense to foul him. Wow. Well, what, did he have something in his eye on that shot? <laughs> Maybe. To the left side wing. Pass to Branham. He gets it up. And that shot was up in time, but doesn't go in. The third quarter comes to a close. Magic lead by five. 2K Sports. Back. Well, this has been a great contest so far, and I imagine the fourth quarter could have even more action in score for us. Spurs trail by five. Up top, Vazell. Pass to Wesley. There's a screen. Shot clock at six. Osmond. And the shot goes in. The defense not putting up any fight on the inside. They've allowed 10 straight points in the paint. That's not the kind of streak you want to be part of defensively. Tighten it up, fellas. Here's Vitadze. He started by Collins. Orlando moving the ball around. Here's Ben Carroll. That one a little long. Well, you know he wants that one back. I mean, more often than not, he'll sink that mid-range jumper. Pass to Jones. Here's Osman to the middle. Here's Collins. And finish off by Collins. You love how each side has risen to the challenge throughout this one. Hey, defense is taking a back burner. Secondary on the marquee, but who doesn't love a game like this? Let's go. I like offense. No one near fault as he lets it go. The Magic again can't hit. It's Vassell on the wing. And here is Wesley. A miss that time would have put him up. The defense ready for him on that possession. They had to be because he is so strong in the paint. Ben Carroll with the screen. Here's Anthony. And it's Osman with the rebound. San Antonio trailing here. Here's Collins. Great defense that time from Ben Carroll. To the inside. Cuts off the pass. Taken away by Anthony. A solo fast break. There's the lob to Ben Carroll. A high to stop the alley. -oop. That's high quality teamwork. What a setup for Ben Carroll. So it's both teams making substitutions here. It's time now to hear from our Hall of Fame reporter, David Aldridge. What's the latest, David? Well, guys, during the last break, I listened to Greg Popovich talk to his team. 
They said, let's lock in, keep our focus. We need everyone down the stretch. Now his players looked engaged, so I think the message got across. Back to you guys. Thank you, David. Here's Vassell. Pass to Wembenyama. Back to Vassell. Mancaro grabs the board. Magic leading by three. Third minute of action now gone here in the fourth. Rebound by Sohan. The way Greg, they're sharing the ball tonight, mesmerizing. Everyone's getting to touch it, and, and everyone's contributing. And out of bounds as the Magic will gain possession. Huge turnover there, and at a bad time, too. You have to value every possession. Now, Suggs. Kicks it out to Van Carroll. Buries the long-range jumper. Van Carroll's got the lead up to six now for the match. You can't leave Van Carroll open from three either because he makes shots from everywhere. Pass to Branham. Down low. Here's the cell. Just four to shoot. Let's it go from deep. And it's Orlando with the rebound. And not allowing the shooter even an inch of breathing room on that one. And guys, that's exactly the kind of high-impact defense they want to see out of him. 59 seconds left in the game. Inside. Yes! How do you like that? I mean, the rookie stepping up big time. And it's Orlando's ball. So far in the fourth quarter, they've allowed just six points. Pass to Suggs. Pass to the hoop. Under on the wing. A nice shot by Black. And the Magic lead by six. No room for them to make a mistake here. You got to almost play perfect from here on out. About the determination. Now that's what we call competing for a rebound. Out to the right wing. Pass to Carter. Here's Suck. How oh, good on the three. Johnson with it. Now Wembenyama. He's covered by Van Carroll. Johnson, that's for two. No good. And so it's Orlando winning this one. It was a fantastic ball game, and they did a great job making sure it didn't get away from them late. Yeah, I mean, they faced some challenges, but really held firm when they needed to. On both ends, just effective in terms of coming away with this win. And that'll do it, folks.